I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and I'm often called upon to offer my opinion on various apocalyptic scenarios. Apparently, when people think of the end of the world, they think of me. And I'm more than happy to do so. There's nothing I love more than a good eschaton, but I will confess that I often find the subject a bit provincial. I mean, we are but one small world, and while the Earth and all of its contents are held near and dear by many of its occupants, nevertheless, on any scale that matters, we are truly insignificant. Which is why today's question pleases me to no end. Someone wants to know what I think about the end of the universe. Now, here is a truly substantive subject worth getting into, and it pleases me to no end that not only is this subject discussed by luminaries and scientists, but there are so many marvelous theories about just what that end might look like. From the big crunch, or big freeze, to the big rip, or the big bounce, it's all so fascinating. But personally, I think we should expand upon it even further. We should look into a, a possible big bad, or a big chomp, or a big red, or a big bopper. Any of these options could be even more exciting. I mean, What's there more to love than the extinction of everything as we know it? And what makes it all the better is that we've moved away from all of these narrative views of the end of times to a more scientific and objective one. And if you're going to stare nothingness in the face, you might at least be logical about it. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.